Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today is, of course, another what a week. So as you guys can tell, I look roughly the same. Not many things have changed. Uh, I'm at the school. It's very interesting. My first week is very, very hectic, very, very busy. Um, I've had two dance rehearsals from Shell and then I've had two music rehearsals, and tonight's the first night of blocking. So things are done a little out of order compared to when I'm used to when it comes to shows, but it's a new situation, new school, every start of everything. So I'm enjoying that. It's nice. It's nice to be in a show again. I haven't done one for a while. So I'm enjoying that aspect of it. Most of the classes seem fairly decent. They're not going to be too bad. I'm just kind of shocked at the way that some of the stuff seems to be completely independent of the master plan. And what I mean by that is that, like, some of my classes aren't starting for like another week, and they were supposed to have started last week. So I'm really confused by that. I've never been in a situation where a school, I mean, a department can override what the school's plan is for the education. I just, that kind of blows my mind. But I'm, I'm happy about it in a lot of ways because it gives me more time to adjust and acclimate to the area of school. So that's nice. Yeah. Other thing that I'm not, I'm kind of shocked that I'm not quite used to is out here it's very cold, but it's not like where I'm from. I mean, out there it's, it's cold, but it's a damp cold. Here it's more like a dry cold, if that makes any sense. So I find that I'm more parched. My throat gets drier faster. I, my throat gets more exhausted faster. And as a vocal major, that is a big deal. So I have to get adjusted to that. I'm not used to it, and it's really weird. So, yeah. first world problems, right? Uh, let's see. I started doing Bob and Lace. I was doing really, really well on my first one, and then I completely messed it up. I have no clue what happened. I, I think I mispinned somewhere, or I miscounted one of my bobbins, and accidentally grabbed a pair that I should, when I, it just turned out bad. But I was going okay from the beginning. I started a new one last night and I got, well, about an inch in. One more, excuse me, one more row to add in and then I'll be happy with it. I finished closing my first 400 of my little jump rings for my, finish off one of my projects that I had before I left home. So I'm excited to get that done. Let's see what else. Um, everybody in my department's nice, everybody seems to be really decent kind of people, so I'm kind of happy about it. Not quite sure how I exactly feel about a couple little things. Um, I have an acting class this semester, which is one of the things I'm not really sure how I feel about. I mean, yes, I understand the professor's method of teaching acting, and it's not anything overtly outrageous, it's just I don't like the method where okay, our very first session literally we had to make we got put in pairs and we had to make our partner cry and have an emotional connection together we had to witness them cry and i'm sorry i've never believed that emotional pain is really part of the art form of acting that's why it's called acting not living so i don't quite understand why we had to be vicious enough to make our partner cry during our first exercise, so that is a bit of where I'm kind of confused at it, and it's a bit of a ugh situation for me because I don't cry easily, and that's what the professor's ultimate goal was, to have me cry. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, dude, I, I, last time I cried was when my mother had a heart attack. It's been many years. So there's that, and not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna stick it out with the class because of the fact that it is fun and class size is super small. That is that is the one thing I love. I mean, absolutely number one. My biggest class is 22 people and that's the show I'm in. Past that, it's 12. I mean, I can't complain about having 12 other people in my class because you know them like this. And the truth is 90% of them weren't there at the first day of class. So I'm not even gonna hold my breath about having a class of actually 12 people. Um, my smallest class is three, which is my German diction class. 
I'm excited about it. I just want to see what's, how that's going to work out, how that's going to progress. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's supposed to rain tonight, and I did bring an umbrella with me. So I might have to run out after, I don't know, dinner. Just go run by the store and pick up an umbrella. Which, yay. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on in my week. Um, I ordered books. Hopefully they all arrive tomorrow like they said they're supposed to. So it's, it's an adjustment period for my little brain to understand how long of that works. Um, I'm used to being at home where packages would have been there on Saturday like they said they were tried to be delivered, but I don't know, somebody's usually home to answer the door and your mailroom closes uh, on Friday and it's closed all major holidays or school holidays. So, okay, that's a whole other thing which I'll talk about if it becomes a major issue next week. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going, it's going. I mean, I'm gonna end up sticking with music history class even though everything he's lecturing about my past professor, Dr. Lucas, lectured about 100% in better detail and covered this section that we're covering right now in about a week, and it's going to take this guy two months. So I want to pull my hair out, but the nice thing is he shows us 15-minute videos every 10 minutes, so I'm not going to learn much. And the assignments are super easy. He shows us a take-home, okay, our take-home quiz for this music history class is we sit and we watch a video, we write an analysis about this video, and like, notes. Then he gives us a quiz to take home. This quiz apparently is like two questions long, and it's all opinion. That, 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 that to me baffles me. That's, I, I don't understand how that's actually a test or a quiz or anything. So, yeah, that's, that's some other can of worms. And then we have to, our final, paper. We only really get the three things. Her final paper is to write about a composer throughout time. So I'm going to pick one of my, um, I'm going to pick Hildegard von Bingen. Uh, yeah. Hildegard von Bingen? Yeah, I think that's her name. And she, she's going to pick her because I've always found her fascinating since Dr. Lucas's class. I wish she had covered more. So I'm going to learn more. I'm going to do my homework. And I've started that already, even though it's not due until the end of the semester. Then I have another project from him, which is to write a 20-minute presentation about a Soundheim musical. That's my midterm, which that's in like three weeks, four weeks. I'm not overtly nervous about it. I'm just kind of like, yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to getting the official rehearsal schedule so that way I know what nights I have to come and what nights I don't. At least I'm hoping that's how they do it. Otherwise, I'm really going to be irritated because I don't want to have to be there over spring break, which we'll talk about once it hits closer to spring break because then we'll know how big of an issue I'm having. So, yeah, overall, all of my classes seem fine. I start individual vocal lessons tomorrow, so my vocal instruction is tomorrow. I don't know what my vocal coaching is. It's a lot of little headache. It's a lot of up in the air, which is not the way I'm used to any school being run, but it's fun. It's cute. It's tiny. That's all I really wanted was a small school that I could get the one-on-one -on -one and like individual attention. Uh, so yeah, I have to schedule an appointment to talk to the co-chair of my department to get things figured out as far as the last finite music major transfer stuff to this school. I'm hoping that once I do that and I schedule my music theory placement exam with them, I place out of theory because their theory is kind of funny as far as I'm concerned. Let's see, I'm used to a system where they don't expect it to take you. <laughs> where they don't get a full year to run one section of class. I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. Like 20th century music is a full year here school of math. It's a full year. And that's insane to me. Two semesters of just 20th century music, I'm going to want to die. I didn't like it when I took it with Dr. Lucas. I'm not a huge fan of 20th century. 
theory really justified that for me, and I figured out why, and I'm just... Nah, I'm good. Just take me back to medieval, and let me, let me revel in the tonal music that's all stepwise and godlike, and I, I prefer it because my brain doesn't rot over hearing it for hours on end. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Let me know what's going on in your lives. Um, you've listened to me ramble for about 10 minutes now, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!